Guys, the result of the Atomic Wallet hack is $35 million, quickly approaching $50 million. Now, many of you on my channel have said that you are part of that statistic. Is there anything you can do about it? Well, I have to say, the results are not promising, the prognostics forward are not promising, and the um, probability of you getting money back is less than great, to put it mildly. But there are certain things you can do to maybe track your money. Now, we know that in Atomic Wallet, um, a lot of the wallets don't even have like an asset like Cardano listed, and a lot of the transactions have actually been wiped. Now, the first step to actually like tracing your funds is actually um, discovering what your address actually is. Now, think about uh, where you actually, when you actually transferred your money into uh, Cardano or into Atomic Wallet, um, and w which wallet you use to transfer into Atomic. Because even though it might not actually be on Atomic Wallet, or it might temporarily be or not be on Atomic Wallet, um, whichever asset you actually have here, it does, oops, it does actually have an address. I don't know why this is not opening right, but it should. Let me, yeah, Atomic's obviously having problems with Cardano, but um, we'll hit the receive button, right? This is your ADA address. So on this ADA address, like if you don't have Atomic appearing and your transactions have been wiped, don't worry, they can only wipe them off the Atomic. They can't actually wipe them off the blockchain. And if you don't have this address, just think back to wh when you actually transferred the ADA into Atomic and go to that source. Maybe, it'd be, maybe you bought it on an exchange like Coinbase or maybe a Dex, uh, or maybe Dex usage or whichever source you transferred it in from, that should actually have your Atomic address as, uh, as the address you transferred to. Now, you can take this address go to the Cardano Block Explorer or whichever coin uh, you're actually missing, type in the address, and you can actually see where your funds are, are coming from or have gone to. Now, my funds are still, my funds that are in Atomic are actually still in Atomic. As I have, I have about $500 in Atomic. This 50,000 isn't really real because this Ever.io thing's a scam coin and takes up like 49,628 of it. Um, that's a complete uh, scam coin. We're gonna ignore that because that's, you can't actually sell or do anything with that. That's just a gain. Uh, that's basically just a comedy or your wallet if you actually pay attention to it. But ignoring that, we have, I have like 101 Cardano like left over in Atomic Wallet because most of my Cardano is actually in uh, Eternal um, Yield Farming, but I have 101 Cardano in Atomic Wallet. Uh, of course, um, I can trace to see where that actually came from. For instance, transactions, and all my transactions from two years ago, so I haven't touched my Cardano in two years. They've been in the same place for about two years. And you can see like, you know, I transferred, uh, you know, 1,000 ADA out got about 36 ADA in um, about two years ago. Now, that can actually give you um, basically where your ADA has actually gone. And when you actually search on Google, let's, let's just take my ADA address. Who owns ADA address, blah. And if you actually search it, obviously you get a ton of my videos because you know, like in my videos, I do have an ADA donation address. And when you actually search it, you get a ton of my videos, so you can be like, hey, you know what? This address is linked to this guy. Now, obviously, when you're searching for a thief's address, it's not going to be that easy because they probably don't have donation addresses everywhere. But the thing is, if that address is anywhere on the internet, there's a good chance that Google will pick it up and you might be able to get some clues or even identify who that address actually belongs to. And there's other things you can do too once you have the uh, source address where your funds are actually being sent to. So you can actually ask on Cardano Reddit or Crypto Reddit uh, to see if anyone recognizes the address. Now, certain exchanges have certain signatures in the address so that sometimes allow people to identify it's going to this exchange, it's going to that exchange. And maybe you can actually identify that and talk to the exchange. Now, you might be like, oh, Binance is gonna take days to get back to me. That's true. 
but it's better than nothing. Like I said, this is a small probability of success thing, but if you're losing tens of thousands of dollars, even a small possibility is actually worth pursuing. For me, it's not worth pursuing because I didn't lose anything, and even if I did, losing 100 bucks, not worth the, the, the trouble to me. But if you lost $10,000, that obviously is a little bit different. And the thing is, I'm not really sure if the uh, exchanges are already, uh, already trying to track this, but I'm gonna guess it's quite hard. But um, you can actually ask on like Cardano, if you lost Cardano, like on Cardano Reddit, or like just in overall crypto Reddit, or you know, like social media, or in Telegram channels, where uh, w if anyone recognizes these addresses, and there's a decent chance that someone actually will. Now, I don't track like uh, I, I don't really track address like signature patterns, so I wouldn't be ident I wouldn't be able to identify if it belongs to like Binance, Coinbase, etc. But some people will because they do actually track these things. And maybe if you get lucky, you'll get a result like this and be like, hey, you know, this address belongs to this guy or belongs to this group. And if that's true, you can probably report it to authorities and maybe they'll help you get some of your money back if you uh, report it to the feds, unless they're in on it too, which I doubt it for this particular hack, obviously. Or maybe if enough funds route and get identified, Gary Ginsler and Elizabeth Warren can prove themselves to the crypto community as unlikely heroes and go in as shock troops and destroy the bad guys. I would pay to actually see that. But yeah, that's kind of the process you could actually use um, to try to get some information or maybe get some of your money back from Atomic. Go into Atomic, get your address, um, search it on the Cardano Block Explorer, search for it in Google and ask about the receiving addresses on the internet via Reddit or something else. You may be able to identify and maybe destroy the people that stole your wallets, or at least at tell the feds and get the feds to actually go after them. So that's what I have to say for right now. Um, like and subscribe, and you're free to talk about it in these comments. And let me know if you are part of the statistics. I'm sorry for your loss, can't really do anything for you, but tell you like maybe how to get some information on who stole your money. So like and subscribe, hit that bell notifications button, and I will see you guys later.